this is Muhammad Hamoud speaking uh, technical translation course actually today you are going to talk about abbreviations in English and Arabic and how can we render abbreviations or different types of abbreviations from English into Arabic or vice versa to start with abbreviations or types of abbreviations first of all we have several types of abbreviations the first one is acronyms the second one is blends the fourth one is the clipping so we have three main types of abbreviations we are going to study abbreviations according or in different aspects the first one acronyms the second one blends and finally clipping last lecture I, we have talked about acronyms in general, the meaning of acronym the, or the definition of acronym, what is meant by acronym and the process of forming acronyms in English and Arabic. And finally, we highlight the certain differences and similarities between the two systems. First of all, to take <coughs> a, a general overview about acronyms as the first type of abbreviations <coughs> the first uh, the first one acronyms is meant or means uh, taking the initial letter forming a new word this new word is formed by taking the initial letters of every word from a phrase and when we then we have a new word which which is which can be pronounced either letter by letter or as a whole item or a whole word uh, these letters or these words are entered the English dictionary by but, uh, but in Arabic they did not or does it don't enter the Arabic dictionary uh, now for example, and we have so many acronyms in English. <clears throat> if you investigate, if you go through this, for example, this is an acronym, for example, uh, another acronym. Here we have examples of acronyms, for example, from means programmable read only memory. Okay, from, for example, read or read only memory these are acronyms for uh, certain phrases look now forming formation of acronym actually the first method to form an acronym is that taking the initial letter or every word and or we can share the previous actually I if I share the previous slides will be more usable <clears throat> okay look at the acronym okay in Arabic means acronym means and it refers to a set of words to syllables or letters so as to make a word that is entirely new for example, look at Naq means Nusf al Qutr, known from Nusf and Qaf from al Qutr. So we have taken the initial letter or the initial letters of every word in the phrase, and thus in this way we form a new word which is Naq. <coughs> now, <coughs> uh, actually, forming or forming acronyms in English we said that we can take the initial letter or every content word but functional words are ignored for example again again Royal National Institute for the blend actually in this phrase we have two types two types of words the first one is content word and the second one is function words content words such as Royal National Institute and the blend uh, function words for with a 
these two words are not the initial letters of these two words which are the functional words are not taken but the content words every the first the first letter or every content word is taken this is the first strategy the second strategy is to take all or the first letter of all words in general either content words or function words all of the words we have taken the initial letter of every word for example department of linguistic science dolis actually dolis means department of linguistic science look at the function word we have taken o from a function word and we have taken d l s from content words okay the third or the third strategy is taking the initial letter or the initial letters of certain content words and we ignore other words such as core computer readable catalog we have we ignore the, the catalog totally but we have taken the first in it two initial letters from computer and from re from readable <coughs> okay uh, Another strategy is to take or to borrow an acronym, a word, an acronym word from other languages such as FIFA is borrowed from French language, it is borrowed for, into English, and it is entered the Arabic dictionary also. I mean Arabic also. Arab people use FIFA to the same purpose. the third now acronyms in arabic actually we have the same strategies similar strategies such as taking the initial letter of every word such as amal afwaj al muqama al lubnaniya alif from afwaj mim from al muqama al from al lubnaniya hamas also harakat al muqama al islamiya ha from haraka mim from al muqama Alif or Sin from Al Islamiya. Uh, the third one is taking the initial letters of certain words and we ignore other words such as Hasht, Hizb al Shab, Dimqat al Urduni. Al Urduni is completely neglected. Okay, another, another strategy is we have taken the first initial letter of every word but then we rearrange and uh, reverse these letters such as Fatih Harq Tahrir Watan Palestini Fa from Al Palestini it is the last word in the <coughs> phrase but it is the initial letter in the acronym Fida are the same uh, Fida is the same and so on actually we have as we notice the similarities between acronyms in english and arabic uh, a lot of acronyms and uh, a lot of process of forming acronyms in english and arabic are the same such as taking the initial letter of every word uh, all content words i mean and uh, another strategy uh, some uh, we saw another strategy is taking the initial letter but we of, of certain words and we ignore other words uh, this strategy of the also the same but the differences between them the main differences is that in arabic we have taken the initial letters but then we reverse or rearrange these words in English, this strategy is does is not existed, such as Fatih, Harak al Tahrir al Wadan al Palestini, or Fida al Ittihad al Demokrati al Palestini. Okay. In Arabic, in English also, uh, this strategy in English is not found in Arabic. Such uh, we have taken the initial letter of every word. But the last word we have taken the first and the last initial the the first letter and the last letter, uh, such as Anzacs, 
Australian and the New Zealand Army crops. If you look to the crops, we have taken C, <laughs> the initial letter, and the last letter is. This strategy is not found in Arabic. Okay. Now, let us return to abbreviations. New sharing. Okay, we have talked about these, all of these issues. Now we are going to talk about clipping. Actually, clipping is shortening or refers to the process of shortening a word, but we keep the same class. Okay, so the, the shortened word and the original word is or are in the same class. For example, Michael. In English, we say Michael, but we can say Mike. Look how uh, actually we have taken certain syllable or one syllable, one or two syllable from a word, and we use them to refer to that word. This form or this shortened form of the original word is called clipping. So, a clipping occurs at the level of one word. When we, we clip one word, not a holy phrase, I mean. <coughs> okay, uh, so clipping is the shortening of fully syllabic word by omitting part of the word's ending. So we can omit part, for example, exam, is from examination if you look at examination it is a whole word but we clip it or we shorten it as exam we take the first the fir or the first the first syllable of the word the whole word and we omit the rest of syllables okay now how can we form Clipping. The first type is for clipping. What is meant by for clipping? For clipping means to take the first syllable or the first or the beginning of the word as and we delete the other or the rest of the word. For example, photo from photography. Okay, we delete. We have taken photo, the first part of the word and we delete the rest of the word, uh, the rest of the syllables. So for clipping, we take, in, we, take in, we take the beginning of the word and we delete the end of the word. Another one is back clipping. Look at the back clipping. We take the last part of the word and we delete the first part of the word. For example, blog uh, from web, we blog. Actually, we take, we delete the start of the word we, we, and we take the back of the word. The second one, or the second strategy is back and forth clipping. We have taken the initial, the initial syllable and the last syllable while we delete the middle or the mid of the word. Word mid is deleted at the beginning and the last syllables <laughs> are taken. This strategy is called back and for clipping. For example, flu and the fridge. Fridge from refrigerator. Actually, fridge, uh, fridge is taken from refrigerator. We have take fridge if from ref and edge the last syllable of the word so the first syllable fridge refrigerator f from the first syllable free and g from the last syllable and we put the first and the last syllable together to form a new word the last type of clipping is mid clipping actually we have to in mid clipping we have taken the middle syllable or the mid syllable is taken uh, while the, the back and front 
syllables are deleted. Uh, this strategy or this type of clipping is very, very rare in English, but still in some words it is found. It is found in some words. Uh, now to move to blint. Actually, what is meant by blint? Blint means or refers to a combination of two separate forms to produce a single new term. How? Actually, for example, look at this. Capsule and table, we can take the first, we can take part of the first of the first word and part of the second word we take and we put these taken parts together to form a new word which is caplet so we have taken cab from the first letter from the first word let from the second word we put these two taken syllables together to form a new word which is cab let this called pleading okay uh, okay now we are going to look at punctuations actually punctuations is part of abbreviation system in english uh, the and we have certain rules for example Many plants are used for attention catching purposes in, adver in advertisement and so on. Uh, actually, now we can look at the punctuation system. Uh, look at using slashes, slashes for example. For okay, uh, sometimes we use we uh, so most abbreviations are written with small words we use small words to write abbreviations articles usually we say we write the acronyms in capital letters as you look not in small letters okay now finally meaning some words abbreviations can be exploited to affect a double meaning such as look at women again a strap organization where w a r is stands for women again a strap organization actually if you pronounce this word as war or these sim single or single words or the this acronym as a one word we have war but war actually has a certain meaning which is hard in english so uh, some abbreviations have double meanings uh, such as war but we should clarify this point that this is an acronym not a word in english so we write it in capital letters and pronounce it uh, word by word so some acronyms meaning some acronyms i mean some acronyms cause confusion uh, and it have or it have uh, they have double meanings such as war uh, as a word it is it means harp as an acronym it means or it stands for women against trap organization okay now <coughs> abbreviations in arabic uh, actually abbreviations in arabic we have the same types of abbreviations in english are found in arabic such as acronym is called al from its name we al al we take the first letter of every word of the initial letter or every word in a phrase we put them together then we form a new word which is called acronym this is or we refer to it as an acronym and we have 
such as we have several examples such as Fatah, Munadam Tahrir, Palestinia, Hamas, Fida, and so Hashd, and so on. And we have just talked about forming acronyms in Arabic. <coughs> now we are going to talk about clipping in Arabic. Clipping means an ijtizaz. An ijtizaz yani ihna mnaqud the initial or certain letters from a word uh, or certain syllables from a word to shorten this word. For example, instead of saying هذا, we can say the. The is a reduced form, is a shortened form of هذا. Al is taken from لعل. Mud instead of منذ. As you say, as you see, uh, clipping refers to the process of taking or reducing and shortening a whole word into certain phrase. This is, or, I mean, certain syllable or certain syllables. These syllables refer to the original word, uh, such as the refers to hada. Okay. Blends, blends and nahd. What is meant by an nahd? We have taken, an nahd means to take parts of every word from a phrase. We put these parts together to form a new word such as a caplet, we say capsule and tablet. Okay, in English, in Arabic, we say al basmala bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, al-sabhala subhanallah, and so on. All these are blends or blends in Arabic, such as subhanallah. We have taken sab, sabhala. We have taken sab from subhan. Oh Allah, oh Allah, al la hala sab. So, sab, sab, the first three letters is taken from Subhan, the last two letters is taken from Allah. We put these five letters uh, and we pronounce it as one word, Subhala. In this way, we, we form a blend. Okay, now look at punctuation actually in arabic we use dots يعني بنحط نقطة بين كل حرف عشان نبين انه هذا عبارة عن acronym او عبارة عن عبارة عن acronym such as صاد دوت با we put dot to refer to to صندوق بريد it means صندوق بريد Okay, meaning uh, uh, sometimes we reverse the letters of the uh, of an acronym to make the word acceptable in Arabic to make it easily pronounced and easily understood, such as Fatih, Harakat Tahrir, Palestinia, and so. On. Uh, actually, this is the last part of this lecture. I hope that you get a lot of benefits. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me whatever you want. And I want to remind you with a word that you should take some examples or you should bring some or write some examples for abbreviations for example in English and Arabic then you can figure out the strategy used in forming this acronym or in forming this discipline and so on today I will this is uh, this homework will start very soon I mean maybe today or tomorrow and it will be long for four for four weeks that's all 
thank you very much for your participation. Uh, I mean for you for listening to this lecture and feel free to ask whatever you want.